Hey, what's happening people? Let me teach you exactly how to make an intro like this one. Before I start, let me tell you guys that I'm really proud of this intro because this is all my own idea and I was able to make it like this. So I'll teach you exactly how I was able to approach this and was able to make it. Let me quickly disable these things that I do not require at the moment and I'll just be back with the first step. All right. This is where you choose the background. Before we actually talk about the background, let's talk about the sound. So make sure that you guys have the sound that you want to keep in the background because it's going to correlate to your animation. Anyways, you get the sound first and then you approach the background after. For background here, I chose the custom background, uh, which was just the basic custom background that could be changed accordingly. Uh, I'll just show you exactly what I did. So first, I went into the menu and chose the custom background. After doing that, I went into choosing the generator area on the right top corner and changed the color of it according to my liking. Again, you can choose whatever you want. It's just a basic idea behind it. Anyways, to give it that spotlight effect, there is apparently an effect in the Final Cut Pro under lighting area. It's called spotlight effect. You drop it onto the layer. And then after playing around with the amount, feather, contrast, and radius, I chose one of the settings that I liked. And after I was satisfied with it, I had to bring in the actual symbols of that meter reading. So I went into the solids, um, sorry, elements, and looked for the shapes. And after playing around with the shapes, I chose the rectangular shape with rounded edges and changed the color of it according to my liking. Obviously, right now the picture size is way too big, so I had to go into the transform menu, um, change the size of the picture, and rotate it. No, right now I didn't have to rotate it because it was the first uh, first symbol of that meter reading. Um, so I just positioned it wherever I wanted. I simply copied the same layer and pasted it um, on top of it, and then I moved that layer just a bit up above it after rotation, and then there was another one of these. You get the idea. After I was done with it, it was time to bring in some text. So I went into the text menu and I ended up getting the basic 3D custom effect because you can change a lot of a lot of animations and different kinds of settings for that. I'll show you exactly what I did. I chose the color to be red and gray because that's what I was looking into. Now I wanted to make the text look like 3D so I ended up doing the Z plane um, transformation a bit and that's how I ended up having it a bit tilted in the Z plane. This is the most trickiest part to have that animation for that arrow. So after you drop another shape on top of the layer, you simply have the animation done on that simple layer. Just a basic idea to have the animation is wherever you want to start the animation, just before that you drop another that top right corner under video option. There is a yellow triangular box that's actually yellow now before it was just grayed and white. Yellow means you're changing the position of it and you're dropping an extra frame on it. So just before you actually start doing the animation, you drop that extra frame on it. And after doing that, you drop another frame and you position the actual object the way I'm doing it in the video. So I had to spend a lot of time, have it according to the sound of the background that I was using um, tilt up or down accordingly so I spent a lot of time so again I would drop a frame change it a bit drop another frame change it a bit more and that's how I ended up getting the animation after doing all that crazy part I was almost done if you see the the base of that arrow looks a bit more confusing so it's it's not 100% as it should be so I had to kind of hide it so I dropped another object of circular as a base for that um, arrow so it doesn't look all weird and has like a certain um, reality of that that um, motion you get the point anyways after doing that remember we didn't have animation done for the text that's where I get, got into I changed a lot of stuff for text I believe it was move in, move out. If you click on the text under generators, you'll see a lot of options. You can just play around with it. 
And that's exactly how I was able to do this crazy awesome intro. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys learned something out of this video. Please hit that like button, leave a comment if you guys want to know anything about this anymore. Um, and stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.